We're back with Janice Dickinson. I do want to introduce surgical breast specialist, Dr. Christy Funk, who's in our audience, um, to talk a little bit about Janice's diagnosis of DCIS. Any diagnosis of breast cancer, and the word cancer in and of itself, elicits fear and in your mind immediately goes and unravels to the worst case scenario. Thankfully, this is DCIS. So ductal carcinoma in situ is the earliest stage of breast cancer. It is cancer, but those cells are stuck inside an intact milk duct. Therefore, they have no access to the lymphatics or the bloodstream, so those cells can't go rogue and land in a life-threatening place. Question, because I've had augmentation, which I should never have done because, I don't know, it was vanity or some, the boyfriend I was with at the time. I don't know why I stuck him in there. <laughs> but but does, does that have anything to do with, um, with, with, with the cancer? Would that, would that have affected or sped it up? Or I don't know what I'm trying to ask you. You take that guilt right out of your head. Having implants, silicone or saline, has zero effect on creating or growing a breast cancer. So don't oh. worry about that for a second. Christy, talk a little bit about how do we know which cases of DCIS will go on then to cause invasive cancer. And so for a woman getting that diagnosis, you know, some of the steps that she should go through in her thinking. Okay, so DCIS, the stage zero inside the milk duct, can eventually grow so big inside that duct that it bursts or invades the duct ah. wall, okay? So an invasive cancer then has the potential to spread out into lymph nodes and beyond. When we just diagnose DCIS, and that's all we have on the pathology report, the question is there's maybe more left inside the breast. You've got to go in there and do a lumpectomy like you had. But we overtreat 66% of DCIS. It could have stayed happily in the breast. We don't know who's who, so we do at least a lumpectomy, sometimes add radiation. Some people go for a mastectomy. You know, it becomes very nuanced and individualized as to what a certain woman does. But we definitely overtreat DCIS. And I, and I think what this highlights is, in your case, Janice, we're just, we're, we're happy that you're here to share your story, but also how important it is for women to get regular checkups, have their own personal relationship with their doctor Please. to figure out what's best for them. Janice, again, we are just so happy that you allowed us to follow alongside you. And, and God bless you. Dr. Funk, thanks so much. On that note, thank you. Thank you very much. We'll be right back.